Hi class, in this video, I'll be showing you how to conduct a repeated measure ANOVA. A repeated measure ANOVA is an example of a within-group design. A within-group design is used when the same participants are exposed to all levels of the independent variable. In other words, it means that every participant is taking each testing condition at least once. So the same participants are taking all of the tests. Okay. Let's set up this variable for this data set. So let's go to variable view. And to keep it simple, let's say that we want to examine three different reading techniques. And we want to see how many words the participant can read in 10 minutes using each technique. So our first variable will simply be technique A for the first technique. The ver the second variable will be technique B, and the third variable will be technique C. As we are examining a continuous variable, since reading the amount of word be that is being read is a measurable numerical integer, we're going to simply be using a scale level of measurement for all conditions. Okay. Now let's actually look at our data. So, in the first te reading technique, let's say that the participant is able to read 450 words in 10 minutes. The second participant is able to read 426 words. The third participant, 399. Fourth participant, 400. Fifth participant, 420. The sixth participant, 350. In the second reading technique, the first participant can only read 250 words, the second 300, the third 170, the fourth 227, the fifth 225, and the sixth 270. 70. In the final reading technique, the first participant is able to read 500 words, the second is 456, the third 300, the fourth 310, the fifth 250, Finally, six and last participant, 350. Now let's see if there is any significant difference between the different type of reading techniques. In order to do that, let's conduct a repeated measures ANOVA test. So, go to Analyze. We'll be using a general linear model, or GLM for short. And we're going to be using repeated measures. Once this window pop up, it asks us to define the amount of levels or how many testing conditions there are. In order to examine how many levels we have, simply look at the amount of columns we have, and that will detonate, designate how many levels are in this factor. So, since we have technique A, B, and C, we have three levels. As for the factor name, you can name this whatever is most convenient for you. I'm going to simply label it as reading. So I know that we are examining reading techniques. Like add, and notice how SPSS will define the three levels for us. Click on fine. So since we're looking at it within subject variable design, we're going to be examining this box. And then all we have to do is simply drag each technique into each level. So the first level will be our first technique, technique A. The second will be our second, technique B. Finally, last technique, the third level, technique C. To keep it simple, let's keep this at a 95% confidence interval, which is the default interval that SPSS uses. Okay, now let's actually look at our analysis. Like OK. Notice how there is plenty of analysis for this. Uh, what we're interested in is test within subjects effect. And then we're going to be looking at sphericity assumed. So as we notice, there is a significant level of 0 0.001 
which means that across each of these techniques, there is a significant difference between the amount of words read depending on which technique you use. Therefore, the experimenters can say that there is a significant difference in the type of reading technique used and amount of words read in the span of 10 minutes. That concludes how to conduct a simple repeated measures ANOVA and how to read that analysis that is given to us. Thank you for watching. Members, stay safe.